is that it's not just those products or those drinks which are advertised as alcohol, which are alcohol. Rather, any type of drink which intoxicates, it is khamar. And yeah. every type of khamar is haram. Well, khamar هي أم الخبائث يعني لو تجمع كل الخبائث على وجه الأرض المخدرات والحشيش والأفيون كلها تجدها لها أم من الأم الخمر نعم أم الخبائث and خمر which is alcohol or those drinks which intoxicate this is the root of all evil نعم الأطعمة عندنا تنقسم إلى قسمين حيوان وغير حيوان نعم and then when it comes to food then food is generally categorized into two different types and that is animal based food and non animal based food الحيوان ينقسم إلى قسمين بحري وبري نعم animals are two types land based or sea based الحيوان البحري كل المأكولات البحرية حلال كل ما في البحر حلال حي أو ميت نعم. So with, the, with regards to sea animals يعني fish and the likes then every type of كيف يستعد نعم نعم every type of animal which is in the sea the, it is halal whether it comes out alive or dead it is halal حتى ولو كان يعني هو في الاسم مثل حيوان محرم في البر يعني مثل يقولوا سمك هذا مثل الحية هذه حلال سمك نعم Uh, even if the animal which is in the sea it's named with a name which is similar to one upon the land which is haram it is still permitted like for example the eel which is like a snake but because it is in the water in the sea it's permitted <laughs> as for land animals <laughs> من السباع وكل ذو مخلب من الطير يصطاد به كل ذو ناب من السباع الأسد وأكرمكم الله الكلب نعم والفهد والنمر نعم So from the animals every animal which is a predator هذا ذو ناب أي نعم ناب هو لو افتح جوجل يطلع له النعم نعم So which contains I think the incisors the teeth يعني canines نعم ساك الله خير any predator like for example dogs and lions and uh, tigers and such all of them are haram and also any bird which has flaws like eagles and eagle or falcon and crows uh, because they have claws then they are haram والخنزير and of course swine pigs والحمار الأهلي and also domesticated donkeys والحشرات and insects وما ما يأكل الخبائث and that which lives off impurities eats impurities لو كان عندنا دجاج مثلا ويختار يأكل أكرمكم الله الخبائث ما يأكل الطيبات هذا يحبس حتى يعتاد أكل الطيبات ثم يكون حلال للأكل نعم even if we possessed a chicken and you notice from this chicken that it is only feeding off impurities then this chicken would be isolated or caged until it is only eating from that which is good and pure and then it is returned الآن هذا الحيوان الحلال لابد فيه من الذكاء الشرعية and then these animals which are halal In order for them to be eaten, they have to be slaughtered in a manner which is Islamic. Either through the slaughtering process, the dhabh, or the nahar for the larger animals, or by hunting. And when it comes to hunting, the condition is that first you have to mention the name of Allah. حي يذبح وينحر بعد صابة السيد طبعا إذا وجدوا حي so if a person shoots the arrow after mentioning the name of Allah and then you find the animal which has been hit by the arrow and the animal still alive then you slaughter the animal and it is halal وإذا وجدوا ميت and if you find the animal which has been hit by the arrow 
to have to have died then you have to look for what reason did it die قال وجدوا في ما ممكن مات من الغرق نعم نعم and if for example you found the hunted animal and it was drowning in water maybe it died due to drowning حرام it is haram لكن اذا وجدوا عندما رماه ومات بهذا الرمي فهو حلال وسمى but if you found the animal and it had died due to the arrow being hunted and you had said the name of Allah before shooting the arrow then it is halal نعم والبقيه ذكاء الشرعيه يذكيه يذبح بمحدد يعني سكين حاده نعم and as for the islamic process of slaughtering then that is to slaughter the animals which are halal with a knife which is sharp وينهر الدم يعني الدم يخرج بسرعه and that the blood is discharged from the body يقطع الوجهين نعم and then the two arteries here they are cut open نعم ومن من يقول مع الحلقوم نعم and, نعم. and some of the علماء mention and also the throat طيب لكن لا يعذب الذبيحه but it should not be unnecessarily tortured and harmed يعني لا يكسر الرقبه مثلا meaning you're not allowed to break the neck ويترك حتى يخرج الدم and you have to leave the animal until the blood is discharged from the body لا بد من التسميه and also you have to mention the name of Allah when slaughtering ويكون الذابح مسلم او كتابي يهودي او نصراني لا مجوسي and also the one who is slaughtering the animal has to be a muslim or from the people of the book نعم. not ليس مشرك not a mushrik and not a fire worshiper نعم. اهل الكتاب يهود ونصارى but from the people of the book from amongst the jews and the christians who follow the scriptures والله اعلم صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى صحبه وسلم جزاكم الله خيرا